Hello, today we will cover the installation process of Archbang Linux, a very lightweight Arch based Linux distribution with the i3 window manager. It's a one month project. Do check out their website to learn more. Now, this installation is for UEFI bootable system. Once in the live environment, do read this key binds on the desktop first. You can then start by pressing the super key plus R to open launcher at the top. Use the arrow keys to navigate to app install and press enter. Alternatively, you can open the terminal from the bottom and type sudo app install and press enter. Now follow this install guide from 1 to 10. Start with one partition scheme. Select default and select Gparted and select the right partition for installation. When Gparted opens, select the partition and if it says no partition table, go to devices and create a partition table. Under table type, select GPT and apply. Now select your unallocated partition and make two partitions that we need for this installation. The first one is a boot partition and the other is root. Set the free space preceding to 1 MB and size to 550 MB. Make sure it's primary partition, a file system to FAT32 and you can choose to name or label the partition as boot or EFI if you want. Then press add. That's the first partition. Now let's create the second one. Make sure it's primary, file system to EXT4. You can choose to label or name it as root if you like. Also, set the free space following to 1 MB and press add. Now press the green check button to apply these changes to your hard disk. Close departed and now select your root partition. That's option 2 and confirm yes. For the file system, select ext4. That's option 4. We had already formatted it in gparted but you can still format it again if you like. So yes. For swap file system, select file, that's option 2. Confirm more partitions, yes. Select our partition 1, it's the only partition left in this case. And for mount point, type forward slash boot forward slash EFI. And for file system, we had already formatted it to FAT32 earlier. So select VFAT and when prompted to format, you can say yes, whichever case. So option 9, format partition. It's asking for confirmation, just agree and proceed, otherwise VFAT is the closest format to FAT32 here and it's supported. And continue, back to the menu, let's proceed to step 2, install Archbang and let it do its thing. Step 3, set hostname, set your PC's name here, the name you prefer for your PC. Then at step 4, we set location, I am in Africa. Be sure to set your current correct location and select your city. Step 5, set the hardware clock. Uh, for this one, local time should be fine. Step 6, set local to English US, that's option 94. And confirm. You can set your preferred option if your language is supported here, otherwise English US should be fine. Step 7. Desktop keyboard layout. The US keyboard layout should be fine with most of us, so option 96. Step 8. The bootloader. Make sure to select Grub 2 here. And for install, select automatic. On to step 9, set the password for root and retype to confirm. And to the final step, we will create the user account. Make sure to enter your username. Then enter your password and confirm. You can write them down somewhere in case you might forget them because you'll need them to log in. And then select D for done. Now reboot your PC to Archbang Linux. The login is in TTY because there is no display manager installed, which you should really consider installing immediately after login. Let's type the username that we just created and type in the password. And congratulations, your system is ready to go. In the next video, I will be reviewing this distro in details. For now, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out Archbang website. Do support the developer of this OS. See you on the next one.